person before I met her, my wife. Yeah? One thing that changed her, she said it did not make sense to me. Jesus is God and he prayed to God. Or praying to Mary, because you pray to Mary. Yeah? Yeah, Mary. And it didn't make sense to her, even though she was 14. And she became Muslim. Because if you want to worship God, you want to worship God according to, according to you, according to him. To him. And that is in the Quran. You understand? So, what did you go and say? Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, sure. So, why don't you become Muslim? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> what is stopping you? Because, you know, when I, when you, look, I've been doing this for a long time. When you accept Islam, you understand your purpose. And, like I said, you worship God according to His teaching. And Islam, look, sister, if you notice, there is a huge war against Islam. A huge war. In Australia, every day, in Britain, in everywhere, there is bad articles about Islam. People speaking bad about Islam. Why there is no war against Christianity? Why there is no war against Judaism? Why no Hinduism? Why only Islam that is being attacked? Because there is a people out there who are the evil ones, who they want to destroy us. They want to destroy our human nature. And they've noticed the only religion that is blocking them and is saving the human beings from their misguidance and the evil plan is Islam. That's why they don't like Islam. Islam comes to protect our intellect. That's why alcohol and drugs forbidden. Islam came to protect our wealth. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Islam comes to protect our families, our lineage. That's why fornication is forbidden. Islam came to protect life. That's why killing people unjustly committing suicide, harming yourself is forbidden. And Islam for, for, come to protect religion. What does that mean? That in Islam, worshiping God alone is very important. We're not allowed to worship Prophet Muhammad. Yes, we worship God according to Prophet Muhammad. Like before the time of Jesus, we worship God according to Jesus. Before Jesus, Moses. Now the last prophet is Muhammad. The only way to worship God the way that pleases him, according to Prophet Muhammad. So, there is people who are benefiting from alcohol, from gambling, from interest, from fornication, who are the evil ones. And they utilize their money to make Islam look bad. Islam makes sense. It's a perfect way of life. And Allah mentioned in the Quran that is, yeah, Islam is the, Allah mentioned in the Quran, Allah will make Islam prevail. Even if disbelievers dislike it. And we know now the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth is Islam. You know? Who's doing the job? It's Allah. Allah mentioned that in the Quran. So there's too many proofs, too many evidences why Islam is a truth. You know, Islam is, I never told you, sister, become a Muslim because I had a dream. I had a dream. No, I told you become Muslim because why? Islam is based upon universal proofs, based upon tangible proofs why Islam is a truth. When you look to Prophet Muhammad, he was in Medina, okay? You know, it was a city called Medina. That city, there was many Jewish people in there. Yes? And he was defending Jesus against the Jewish people. If you, if you think about it from a material point of view or a worldly point of view, why Prophet Muhammad, if he was a liar, yeah? Why he's defending Jesus in a society when there is no Christian there? He should have been agreeing with the Jewish people if he wants to gain more followers. Because someone who is a liar, he just wants followers. He wants to admit it. But he was defending Jesus against Jewish people, telling them that Mary, she was not an evil woman, she was a pure woman. Allah called her in the Quran, Siddiqah, truthful woman, a pure woman. Jesus was a mighty messenger, true Messiah. Jewish people reject that. They are liars for rejecting the true Messiah. He's a true Messiah. So you can see when you study his biography that this man must be a prophet of Allah. Let me give you an example. I always, I always mention that. Imagine you're in the house. And there's a fire everywhere. And you try your best to serve yourself. A lot of your videos. You yeah? Know the, uh, you know the, the analogies? <laughs> yeah, alhamdulillah. She watch all the videos. Let me say it live. Yeah. And imagine there's a fire everywhere, fire in your house. And, I, and you try your best to serve yourself. But you couldn't. You gave up and you thought, you know, it's over. I'm going to die. I came and I saved your life. What would you say to me? Thank you. Thank you. Would you remember me all the time? Of course, I saved your life. So why are we not grateful and remember all the time who gave us a life for free? You know?
Make sense? Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you a question. If you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift that you love or your mother love? Likewise, we want to worship God according to Him, according to ourselves. That's why He sent Jesus before that, Moses, and now the last prophet is Muhammad. You know, the Bible has been corrupted. You can't... Okay. You know, there is an old book and there is a new, new testament. Yeah, there, new book. yes. And there is... No, no. There is many virgin, many uh, revised. She is, she is New Testament. With, uh, so many things of Islam. Just she say like a me, lot I don't, of. I don't follow the yeah. church. Like, I'm Italian, so I don't yeah. follow the church. But when uh, we go, in, I was small and I used to go in the church. Like, yeah. They teach me that, like um, Jesus is the prophet, is no God. So when I see so many Christian people, they say that Jesus is God. Is uh, even they say is uh, I'm the only one that I think like I'm Christian and I think that's God. true. So, because no, there is Jehovah Witnesses. They believe he was a prophet. But uh, that's good because that's what we believe is a prophet and the true Messiah. Like I said, like I said. But the, what I will say to you that uh, you want to worship God according to according to, to him. him. Okay. Yeah. The Bible that we have is corrupted. Yeah. No doubt about that. Okay. If you agree with me, then God is the most wise. He's wise. Yeah. Yeah. Would the most wise God leave us with the corrupted teaching, or He will clarify the truth to us? That's in the Quran. That's in the Quran. That's why I tell you, the Quran will never be lost, will never be changed because we memorize it. And the Quran, the Muslims, you go Italy, to Europe, generally speaking, Africa, Asia, South America, Caribbean, Muslims at the age of 9, 10, 11, memorize the Quran word for word. That is a miracle. Sometimes they don't even speak the Arabic language. In, yeah, imagine you and I and him, or all of us here, we memorize a book in Chinese, but we do not speak Chinese. It's a miracle, you don't even speak Chinese. Yeah. How you memorize it? And, and we memorized it in a perfect way. That's what I'm saying, sister. So if you want to worship God and you agree the Bible has been corrupted, which is, is a fact, no doubt about that, then you should become a Muslim. When you be, look, sister, I know you think my family, you came this life by yourself. And when you die, you will stand before God by yourself. Your family, they have a right over you. Respect your father, your mother, your brothers, your sisters. But remember, when you'll be put inside the grave, you'll be by yourself. And when, when you meet God, God will not... You telling him, I didn't become Muslim because my parents, no, that will not be valid for you. Just by yourself. By yourself. Look to this, yeah? When Jesus came, he said to them what? He said, I came to differentiate between father and, and, and a son, between the mother and a daughter. Meaning, when you accept the truth, by default, maybe your brother is going to be against you or your mother is going to be against you. But you have to love the truth yeah, more than anything else. Yeah. And the when you become Muslim, what is shahadatan? Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Mean I bear witness, there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness, Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah. Mean, oh Allah, I'm going to worship you according to your teaching. Of course, some people are thinking, you know, I have to, to accept everything. Firstly, step by step. And the example I give all the time about the cake. If you eat a big cake, what happens to you? You get sick. Yeah. If you want to feel the sweetness of the cake, bit by bit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Islam step by step. But the most important thing is to worship Allah alone. You understand? And of course, remember when I told you, if I saved your life, you said to me, I will thank you straight away. And the Prophet Muhammad told us, when a Satan, when someone wants to become a Muslim, Satan will try to stop them. Because when you accept Islam, you become a true free person because you become a servant of your creator according to the true teaching. Make sense? Yes. You want to become Muslim? <laughs> Why? Are you guaranteed to live tomorrow? Forget about people. What I would say to you, forget about people. Focus about yourself. If it makes sense to you and you say, you know what, it makes sense. It's the truth. Then one lie, don't let nothing to prevent you. Like I said to you, my wife is a revert. You understand? I got other family which are revert. I got uh, what they call it, uh, 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 friends who are revert. Well, lie, many times people, before accepting Islam, they hesitate. When they accept Islam, we never heard someone coming back and complaining, say, oh, I wish I'd ever become Muslim. All the time they say, that's the best thing I did. You understand? So don't think about uh, pressure or something. Well, lie, accept Islam, then step, step by step. I, 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 let me ask this question. Are you guaranteed to live tomorrow? You can die anytime. And the biggest sin against Allah 
only turn away from his teaching. Saying shahadatan, because we believe if I was alive at the time of Jesus, by worshipping Allah correctly, I would say there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And Jesus is the true Messiah and the messenger of Allah. Now Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet. Shahadatan doesn't mean you put hijab straight away. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. You don't have to follow everything straight away. You take it step by step. But Wallah is the best you can do. Why? Because you're going back to your creator and you're going to worship him according to his teaching. How many people leave their houses, they never come back. How many people won't sleep, they never wake up, gone. Their soul's been taken. Yeah, and it'll be too late. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Quran. On that day when the man will run away from his brother and his mother and his father on the day of resurrection, everyone will be scared. Today, what is going to save you? Not your Italian nationality or his Moroccan or Algerian, none of that, or, or Tunisian, or none of that. What will save you? Your belief. And is that belief according to Allah or according to the church or according to corrupted book? Will not help you. But will help you according to Allah. Allah, that's the best decision you're going to make in your life. Shahada said, I bear witness, there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. I bear witness, Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah. You know, uh, when you become Muslim, I got reward. That's why I want you to become Muslim. But I don't want to put pressure on you. I mean, if you think there's a people here, you want to off camera, then say it. We're live. Huh? It's okay, but inshallah. Inshallah, khalas. I don't want to put pressure on you. Inshallah, you will accept Islam. Maybe when you go home with your name, you can accept Islam, inshallah. It doesn't have to be here. Do you have any question? No. No, because I ask everything to him normally. Alhamdulillah, khalas. Inshallah. Oh yeah, Allah, barakallah. Thank you for speaking to me. Take care, yeah?